If you've received a parking ticket, then you may be wondering if it's really enforceable. Are those just empty threats or could they really take you to court? Today, I'll show you the truth about whether private parking fines can be enforced and what you need to know about your ticket. Most UK motorists will receive one of two types of parking fine. If the parking contravention was committed on council land, you'll have received a penalty charge notice. But if it was on private property, usually a private car park connected to a business like a supermarket, then you'll have been issued with a parking charge notice instead. They may look and sound extremely similar, but how they work is actually very different. A council penalty charge notice is an official fine, which means there's a strict process to follow. But a private parking charge notice is more like an invoice, so what can happen may differ from case to case. When you don't pay a council penalty charge notice within 28 days, the council sends out a formal notice called a charge certificate. This notice doesn't just inform you of the missed payment deadline, it also increases the fine by 50%. You'll only get 14 days to pay this, or a court order will be issued, which could result in the use of a bailiff. In short, if it's a penalty charge notice from the council, then either pay up or repeal promptly. Never ignore it, as it's almost immediately enforceable. So do you have to pay a private parking fine? In reality, you aren't legally obliged to pay a private parking fine, unless told to do so by a court. However, you may choose to pay promptly in order to avoid the further stress and any potential legal action. Plus, many companies will offer a reduction in the fine for an early payment. If you don't pay a private parking ticket, it's highly likely that the company will send out payment reminders, add late charges, or threaten legal action. But in reality, there's nothing a private company can do to collect the money unless they take you to court. But that doesn't mean you should just ignore private parking fines. It's fairly likely that the company who issued you the ticket will be willing to involve the court, so you can't just forget about them. If they do take court action, the fine may become greater due to court costs, and the judge could make you legally responsible to pay. You may also be issued with a county court judgment or a court decree if you're in Scotland. I've researched these and they're both really serious. They impact your credit report, possibly making credit and mortgages harder to obtain in the future. If you then ignore the CCJ or the court decree, you'll very quickly hear the sound of a bailiff coming to knock on your door. There is a time limit for private parking companies to issue you with a parking charge notice. As long as the parking fine has Protection of Freedoms Act written somewhere on it, the company must issue the parking fine within 14 days of the incident. However, that time limit doesn't apply if the parking charge notice doesn't say Protection of Freedoms Act somewhere on it. As for council parking fines, they usually have to be issued within 28 days from the date of the incident. They may get a little bit longer if the DVLA is slow to respond with the vehicle keeper's address. But the reality is council parking fines just won't expire because they follow a strict and quick process to make them legally enforceable. In fact, you could be subjected to a court order in a little over 42 days for not paying. There is some good news. If you think that the ticket was unfair, then you can appeal, whether it's a council or a private parking ticket, so long as it's from a legitimate company registered with the accredited trade association. Private companies not registered cannot ask for your address from the DVLA, which means you'll never hear from them again unless you write to them attempting to make a payment. If in doubt, you can check if a company is an ATA member by calling the British Parking Association. Beware though, the call's not free. Some online forums advise drivers to ignore not only legitimate fines, but also to ignore legitimate parking charge notices, suggesting that they won't take any legal action. Sometimes they can be right, but it's a risky strategy. Well, unpaid private parking fines fall within the statute barred law, which means the issuer must try to collect the fine through legal action within six years or it will no longer be enforceable. So if you got a parking ticket and hear nothing again for six years, you're probably home and dry. However, if the company does take legal action during those six years, then the fine will not expire. If you're still worried about an outstanding or a delayed ticket, then your best option may be to consult a solicitor. There are many online solicitors that work out cheaper and easier than meeting in person. Just Answer, for example, only costs £5 for a trial. And I know a guy who saved £271 on his ticket doing this. 
I've linked that offer in the description, and if you use that, you'll also be supporting Money Nerd, so thank you.